Now then, here's a conundrum for you. What does sound look like? An artist from Nottingham has been mulling that one over for more than a year now. Caroline Locke's answer lies in several tanks of water and a little help from her friends, as Rob Glass has been discovering. So we're going to put um, Gareth through tank uh, four. Anyone who thinks installation art is easy ought to have a word with Caroline Locke. Her latest project is a one-off performance. It's taken over a year to plan. It starts in under four hours, and there's a shortage of long cables. Can we get long leads from Maplins? The idea is to show people the sight of sound. So um, as well as, as having a, a live gig, essentially, you have, um, you have a visual gig. Hydrophonics, as it's called, relies on a handful of talented musicians and some tanks of water with loudspeakers underneath. Each musical instrument has a different effect on the water surface because they, they, they are different frequencies. Period of experimentation where we charted all the all the sounds that did work, and then Gareth took those away and what wrote a, a skeleton kind of composition. The theory's intact, but those long cables weren't important, were they? Welcome to the world premiere of Hydrophonics by Caroline Locke. The Malthouse pub in Nottingham is the ideal venue, offering the audience the perfect vantage point. My heart's beating very fast and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited but nervous. As it happens, those cables weren't important and the show is a crowd pleaser. It's great coming to something like really completely new and out of this world, nothing that's been done before and it's a privilege to be at a world premiere. I thought it was quite interesting because I'm, uh, I'm a little bit tone deaf and um, it was good to be able to watch the music. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was a really emotional kind of... I thought the music was very, like, touching. I thought it was absolutely amazing, to be honest with you. Caroline's next project is to see what sound looks like when it's transmitted to the other side of the world. Now, that will need some very long cables. Rob Glass for East Midlands Today in Nottingham. Making water move with music. Mm. My son can make my house move with music. <laughs> <laughs>